Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, what am I doing? Well, the Void Battle season is here, so I'm just gonna clean up a bunch of Void Battles that I have never done before in the past. Mainly because there's a whole bunch of missions centered around Void Battles. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's not much else really to do in Dragalia, especially since the summer event I already kind of finished. And I'm not really interested in Omega all that much. So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. I uh, hope you like it, and if it ends up being that I have absolutely no Void Battles to go through, are you serious? Wow, did I finish them all at some point? This one I didn't, okay. That's gonna be today's video, man, it's been a uh, relaxing day. In Do uh, not in Dokkan, um, just in Dragalia in general. There's just not, again, not much for me to do, specifically because I already beat Summer 1 when it came out last year, so for me there's not much. I'm not really testing out anything in any of the Agitos. So I'm basically just waiting for the 27 for, for Cayenne and for all the changes done to all the um, the other four classes. So, yeah, it's a lot. If you're wondering where were the videos, there was just nothing to do in Dragalia. Uh, and as long as there's nothing to do in Dragalia, I can't really make videos off of it. I mean, I appreciate everyone who watches these, specifically my Dragalia videos, but, uh... What's the right way of saying this without sounding kind of mean? Uh... Basically, the channel doesn't grow if I can't make interesting videos, and I can't really make interesting videos in Dragalia unless there's kind of something actually going on in it, unfortunately. Um... I mean, a lot of people for sure saw my previous one on Summer 1, but, you know, just not a lot of likes on it and stuff. And that's really the only way I know if someone's liking what I'm doing. And if I don't know if someone's liking it, then personally what I like to do is always is to hold off and just wait and then come back when it's actually, you know, time to be exciting and it's time to actually play the game for reals. Um, that's kind of how I approach stuff. So if you ever wonder, like, oh... Is Wokey just never gonna? Just, is he just gonna stop doing Dragalia Lost videos? The answer is no. I'm not until the game chances are shuts down. Um, it might slow down sometimes, and sometimes it'll go crazy fast for sure. But never stop. Also, if you can, uh, I get it a couple times here and there. Don't ask me about Dragalia stuff and other stuff. It's really kind of a dick thing to do. I know you're not trying to be a dick when you do it, um, but it's kind of a dick thing to do, man. Don't do that. Just wait for the Dragalia videos. I would say that only if it wasn't for the fact that Dragalia is the only gotcha that um, people only ask for. <laughs> That's why I say specifically Dragalia. Only people who play Dragalia really bother me about, oh my god, no Dragalia video? When next Dragalia? Um, the answer is just wait, man. Just wait. Like, I got some from, like, a day later. I'm like, okay, I'm going to remove this because it doesn't actually have anything to do with the video. I'm not going to call them out on it or say who they are. If you do that and there's more than one person, just please don't do that. I would appreciate it very greatly. All right, let's get back into this. What's going on in this void battle? But yeah, I don't know. What have you guys been doing in Dragalia? Other than, the thing is, is the reason why this event's so easy, uh, specifically Summer 1, is that I can just skip ticket a whole bunch of it. So I just skip ticket, skip ticketed a whole bunch, and now all I have to do is like grind out the um, boss. And I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. So I've just been playing a lot of Puzzles and Dragons, played some Dokkan, played a lot, playing a lot of Fake Grand Order. But to be fair, I've always played more Fake Grand Order than I've done Dragalia. I've got like a thousand hours in Fake Grand Order, and I have much less in Dragalia just because Dragalia is much more appreciative of your time. Um, if your only gotcha is, for example, is Dragalia Lost, I can see it as a real bummer if the game slows down. But as someone who plays multiple gotchas, I'm actually super happy <laughs> at the kind of slow pace that Dragalia takes over a lot of other gotchas. Just because, like, I don't know, if it was on 24-7, like, if this was a Grand Cross style of grinding that I had to do, I don't know if I could handle it, man. That's the thing that turns me off of Grand Cross and why I eventually, I, well, besides the fact that I think actually the rates in those in that game is fucking bullshit, uh, and it's not good enough, <laughs> the, the rates in that game are actually not good enough to support the game that's around it, which is a shame because I actually really like the way it plays. Maybe if it was, uh, 
maybe if it was Dragon Ball license, I would actually put up with it as opposed to license to the seven deadly sins. Which, besides Diane, I don't really care much about all that much. Um, what was I saying? But anyway, the point is that Dragalia is not a super intense. Uh, the only game that I can think of that is less intensive than Dragalia Lost is Pitter Patter Pop. And that's something I actually really like in Pitter Patter Pop, too. Is the fact that you can just kind of relax, go at your own pace. There's like no real rush to do anything. Um, okay, now that I'm basically cleared up all my voids, I think I'll just go here and then. Let me see, what would be a good amount? Yeah, sure, that works. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, Pitter Patter Pop is the only thing that's less intensive. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I only really need one super intensive game in my life, and it's and it's Fake Grand Order. I forgot to switch out teams, didn't I? It's fine. Actually, no, I didn't. It's perfectly fine. Um... <clears throat> so I always like the fact that Dragalia doesn't really take too much of my time. And even when it, when something does, people usually will complain and say this takes too much time and they'll actually listen to feedback and cut back on it. Uh, which I appreciate a whole bunch that they do. Um, and I like that they do that. Uh, but you can definitely make it so where it's like, well, I want to play Dragalia. You know what actually would be nice? Which is funny, because I think that actually it ends up being they've accidentally done it. Um, it'd be nice if they brought back the Mega Man event, because it turns out Mega Man's uh, co-op ability is actually super good. Um, so there's actually some use for Mega Man now. His event, let it be known, without a shadow of a doubt, the Mega Man event is maybe the worst event we've ever received in all of Trigalia Loss. If you thought that Summer... Um, the new summer event that we got was lazy. I don't know what the hell Mega Man is. Like, Mega Man is like... There's only like... Two bo two new bosses. One of them is Mega Man and the other one is... Uh, Dr. Wily. And then the rest of it, you just fight the base dragons in the game. And that's it. That's all it is. And then you have to go through... Levels that I think in theory are designed over the Robot Masters, but it doesn't really matter when you skip it all on times two speed, so it actually just makes it take way longer than you want. Um, oh my god, so much about the Mega Man event is so bad. And it... The, the reason I always have Umbridge with specifically the, the Mega Man event is because, like, for Summer, I get it because of all the unfortunate circumstances around it. That was a goddamn collab. That was, we don't get a lot of collabs in this game. We have Monster Hunter, Fire Emblem Heroes, and Mega Man. And the Mega Man collab, collab event is maybe the worst collab event I've ever played on any gacha that's ever received a collab event. It's so bad. It's so mind-numbingly bad. And then on release, I thought Mega Man was terrible. Um, I still do think he's kind of terrible, but he I, the funny thing is is that he actually has some more utility now because at the time of release He didn't really have a dragon that benefited his play style um, That's one of them But in general he was just not super good his moves weren't the best they took forever um, He hadn't if you wanted to hit someone with a mega buster you had to stand in place and charge and shoot it uh, at them which was which really sucked um, but over time, they've kind of added mechanics, and they've been kind of on the low, buffing Mega Man in these really weird ways. Not directly, like, saying, like, oh, his skills are better now. It's more like they gave him slightly more utility in the game than he ever had at launch, which is a different way of kind of making a unit better that I actually think is better for the long term of a game, but, um... It ended up being that I think Mega Man's at least now worthy enough to own. <laughs> That's what I feel. Like, previously I thought Mega Man was the biggest skip. He's basically a box trophy. Now I think, like, now that there's actually some comps that, like, are like, hey, you can use Mega Man. I'm kind of like, oh. Now I kind of wish other people had Mega Man. I didn't feel that way when Mega Man first arrived. Let it be without a doubt. When I fought Mer Mega Man first, dropped onto the game, I thought he was terrible. I thought he was the worst unit in the game, especially for a five-star. And now I think, like, maybe he's better than, uh, he has more utility than some other five stars for sure. Um, mainly because of that co-op ability. I don't think playing him is any fun until they 
update the way players are uh, able to force strike with wand units, but until then, it's basically waiting. Waiting and seeing what's up. Uh, yeah, and that's basically it, man. That's a, that's a Dragalia video for you. I just basically wanted to make this one to clean up some Void Battle stuff. And two, just to kind of talk about Dragalia for a bit. So don't worry, if you see Dragalia videos leave for a bit, I will always come back. Just, you know, Dragalia needs to do something. <laughs> that's just kind of the way the, the, the way the cookie crumbles on this one. But anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. The only real way I know of something is something that people want to watch is if there's a, they, someone leaves a like. And if I see a dislike, then I go, I guess people really don't want to see that kind of stuff. So it actually kind of does help me, even if it's a like or a dislike, I absolutely know something. You can also leave a comment that also helps me understand a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's it. That was today's video and I hope you liked it. So till next time, everyone, have fun grinding and I hope it doesn't take too long. Peace.